Sai, peace and power to all my relations. This is Sai coming to you with another episode of Love and Learn. I am here in my room right now enjoying the new moon because it brought me a new haircut, a new sense of direction, and a lot of peace and feeling my power. So first and foremost, I want to show you my, my stove. And, oh, sorry about that. And little Shaki is here to cause a little disruption. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. And um, check out this new hairstyle. I am really digging it. Um, I've never had anything um, quite like this before. And I am going to dub this the Two-Spirit because it's just um it's just so funny how just flipping from one side to the other um <laughs> um is so it just makes the world of a difference between like oh my femininity or my masculinity um which is kind of where i'm at right now and um that's okay you know i'm uh, becoming more comfortable with this idea of me being a trans masculine person, whatever that might mean, and just um, continuing to explore that, continuing to embrace that, and obviously everything that comes with it is something that I am not closing myself out to um, and not dreading because I think that that's something that. Um, that I left uh, behind um, before this new moon and um, everything that I've had to go um, through before this time um, has just been so that I can fully, you know, just make way for more evolution. And that's um, that's something that I'm waking up to every single day, just seeing how I can do better and um, really um, knowing that this is the time. Um, but, you know, it doesn't apply to everyone just because, like, how do you know the time is now to, to um, start preparing yourself for something, for, for, for your purpose to be fulfilled in life? Um, I think that if you are not feeling it and if you're questioning it, then you're probably not there. And I say that with so much love because I feel like this is the first time in my life that I can safely say um, that I'm, I'm ready and I'm, I feel it, it's coming. And um, a lot of stuff is behind me and I'm working towards my dreams finally. Anyways, all that to say that um, if you're not there, uh, just know that you will be, um, and just don't worry too hard, um, do what you can, because that's exactly what you need to be doing. Um, I feel like right now I haven't fulfilled all my dreams and goals, but even just this video alone is, is like a step in that direction, absolutely, and, um, uh, everything that I can see around myself right now, all the peace, that I have all the things that I've been able to create in my space so that I have more peace in my life are just things that are absolutely telling me that I am on my way to fulfilling um, some more major dreams. Anyways, um, I hope that that's sort of um, helpful. Let me know what you think about that. I do want to show you a little someone um, because they're growing and their kittiness isn't going to, oop, I already told you who it is. Anyways, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Aren't you a little dear? I also want to show you the status of my room. I was able to clear out most of the books that I had. And um, I really enjoy doing that because 
it was really easy to see which books I wanted and which I didn't. There were a couple of books that I was like, oh my god, <laughs> uh, I've been waiting to throw you out for a long time, and other books that I uh, kind of went back and forth with. But um, I think that it was really easy to do it um, at this point in my life because I had grown so much that uh, just the way that I viewed it was just very easy at this point. It was like, oh, I definitely don't need any of this. So I had twice as many books here. And now um, I've reduced it to this because uh, my um, home situation um, could change in the next few months. And I sure hope it, it does. Um, and I'll explain that further on. It's not something that I can talk about right now because it's so sensitive and it's not just me who's involved. So I'd rather wait till everything is over. But anyways, I'm trying to condense everything that I own right now just so that I can easily move it. And also so that I can start over, as you know. Um, I want to show you a little bit of the organization that I had to do. I used, um, I've been using like bubbles and, and stuff like that to organize like little things that I had lying around. Um, obviously, a lot of the stuff that I had was was in the same general category, and so I was able to put those in the same um, box. But this is just like a technology bag, uh, stuff like from the truck that I used to own that I just sold, um, headphones. Um, this is... Uh, one of my little medicine boxes. Um, this is a makeup box that I have to sort out still. Um, stuff that I need to sort out. Um, jewelry that I need to sort out and, and clean out. And uh, over here, this wonderful compilation of things, including this, is a bunch of documents, notebooks, um, schoolwork that I need to go through and trash, donate, etc. Y'all already know how spring cleaning be, even if it is in the summer. Um, I need to do the same with my clothes. Like right now, like this is clothes, that's clothes, that's clothes. There's clothes in the closet. There's not that much. Oh, that's clothes too. Just too many clothes, clothes that I don't even wear, clothes that I don't even like. Just really, really, really old clothes mainly. Um, yeah, and that is the cleaning stuff. I want to show you Shaki's new setup. Thanks to um, a friend of mine who donated a $50 gift, Amazon gift card to me. I was able to get that litter mat. Um, my friends, uh, well, my siblings, uh, Shemya and Ahanu, gifted me the litter box and like um, the food and the litter um, and the little this little carrier. Um, I was able to go get Shaki their first round of shots um, last weekend and got them a couple toys, um, little cheap toys that they seem to be attracted to. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, I made this piece of art. I really dig it and it's bringing a lot of awesome energy into this room. I had put a lot of coin, new coins in there that I'm going to be emptying out soon and um, these are all, oh sorry honey. These are all bracelets from like Ecuador that a, an Ecuadorian friend up here gave, gave to me. And I basically, and I just made this little shrine thing. Um, I love this one because it has the, like uh, the, the colors of the chakras practically in order. Um, and this is another little kind of spiritual spell-ish thing that I made. Uh, for myself in January that has a lot of herbs, lavender crystals, uh, very glowing stuff. This I made um, for my material, um, which is tied into my spiritual uh, wealth. So my wealth in general, but with an emphasis on my um, material gain. And um, that's as much as I'm going to show you for today. I think that that was enough. 
I do want to say that I ordered a um, new camera and it's coming today. So these selfie videos are, are seeing the end of their days. Um, thank you so much. I wish y'all the best. Let me know if you want to talk to me about something or anything. Um, obviously, I am just starting out and um, could use any kind of uh, dialogue and interaction. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace and power, all my relations. I hope that you continue loving and learning as um, I'm always trying to do. Uh -huh.